by MVP Healthcare. News 8 at Sunrise in high definition continues. CPA Dave Young is back with us. Dave, great to see you. Oh, it's great to be here. So we're talking about compound interest this morning. Let's begin by defining it. Well, compound interest. Einstein thought it was the eighth wonder of the world, and he said he who understands it can earn it, and, and if you don't, you'll pay it. So it's a very profound, profound concept, compound interest. All right, let's delve a little deeper. Let's define it. How is it calculated? Well, simply, in, uh, compound interest is getting interest on interest. And the more, more frequently it compounds, the greater interest you will earn. So if you have something that's compounding daily and you put $100 in and it's every day you're earning a little bit of interest, now you're getting interest on top of that interest. Give us an example. You, you talk about, say, like $100. Give if, us an example. How would put, it work? If you put $100 in an investment or in, uh, say, a, the bank, and every, every day it's getting a little bit of interest, then you're going to earn interest on top of that. So, for example, if you put, say, $1,000 and it was going to earn 5%, you get 1050 then you'll get a 5% on top of 1050 Okay. What about the rule of 72? This is an important calculation. Right. The rule of 72 is an estimate, but it's a very useful tool. So, for example, if you divide the interest rate into 72, it'll tell you how quickly you can double your money. So if you're getting a 6% return on 72 in 12 years, you could double your money. And yeah, you can use that for earning things or how much you're paying. You do need to factor inflation into that, though, do right. you Right. So let's say inflation's at 3%. And so in your economy, the inflation is 3 percent, rule 72, 3 into 72. In 24 years, your money will lose half its value. Hmm. All right, so I have to factor that in as well. Now, this, we should mention when it comes to compounding interest, works the other way. It can benefit you, but can also work against you, right? It can work against you. The interest charge or, say, in a college tuition, let's say that's going up quicker than the co in cost of inflation or the, or the pace of inflation, let's say 5 percent. So now tuition would double in, say, four and a half years. So that's, it can work for you and or against you, correct? Let's delve a little deeper into this difference between simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest is exactly simple. So it's your interest on the principal only. So that same in, um, example I gave you, $1,000, you earn 5%, you're going to get $50. Now you earn, again, 5%, not on the 1050 but only on the 1000 Okay. And we should mention, it's important to, to denote here, these are strictly examples. When we're talking about earnings and... and right. And strictly example, not investment advice by myself. I'm just giving you some simple examples by, you know, what the difference is between compound and simple interest. All right. So compound interest, you can grow your money more quickly uh, depending upon, the, you know, the investment and, and how much you choose to invest over right. time. And Einstein, after all, it's the eighth wonder of the world. Can't go wrong there. Who are we to question Albert Einstein? Uh, Dave, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. For more on this, uh, you can go to the State Society's website. They have a Get Money Smart tab when you get there. We'll share that link on our website as well at rochesterfirst.com.